Our next step in building a calculus for fields is to learn how to differentiate form fields. This differentiation makes sense using a combination of implicit differentiation, the wedge product that we now understand, and an oriented version of the more familiar product rule. Let's talk about differentiating form fields, starting with the simplest possible case, where we look at a zero form field, a scalar field, f. The derivative of f, d f is the gradient one form field. That is partial f partial x dx plus partial f partial y dy plus partial f partial z dz. This follows really naturally from implicit differentiation. We're already used to this notion of the derivative of a zero form field. But what do we do when we take the derivative of a one form field? Let's start off simple. Let's say we have a one form field that looks like f, our scalar field, times dxi, where i is one, two, or three. Then the derivative of this is defined to be df wedge dxi. We're going to use that wedge product to build up derivatives inductively. So if I switch back over to x, y, and z, and df is that gradient one form field, partial f, partial x, dx, etc., then the derivative of f dx is what? It's the derivative of f wedged with dx. Now, by linearity, this breaks up into three terms, three two-form pieces, the first of which vanishes because dx wedge dx is zero, and we're left with partial f partial y dy wedge dx plus partial f partial z dz wedge dx. Notice how I'm being really careful with the order here, as I must, and notice that the derivative of this one-form field is really a two-form field in the same way that the derivative of a zero-form field was a one-form field in general. The derivative takes a k-form field to a k plus one-form field. And the way that we do this in general is inductively. If alpha is any basis form, and if f is a scalar field, a zero-form field, then the derivative of f times alpha is defined to be df wedge alpha using the process that we have just seen for one forms. Now, it takes a little while to get used to this unusual type of derivative, so let's do a bunch of examples. Let's say I give you the following forms. Alpha is a one form field given by x squared dy plus 4z dz. Beta is a two form field, that is three dy wedge dz minus y dz wedge dx, and gamma is the three-form field, y cubed dx wedge dy wedge dz. Let's differentiate all three of these, starting with alpha. The derivative of alpha is what? According to this inductive rule, I take the derivative of x squared, wedge it with dy, and then add to that the derivative of 4z wedged with dz. Now you know what the derivative of x squared is. It's 2x dx. And you know that the derivative of 4z is 4dz. But now I need to wedge these together appropriately. I notice that dz wedge dz vanishes, and I'm left with 2x dx wedge dy as my derivative. The derivative of this one form is a two form. The derivative of beta is, following the same rule, the derivative of three wedged with dy wedge dz plus the derivative of minus y wedged with dz wedge dx. Now the derivative of three is zero and the derivative of minus y is minus dy. So using the fact that zero times anything is zero and doing a little bit of rearrangement on that last term gives me, as an answer, the three form minus dx wedge dy wedge dz. Finally, the derivative of gamma is the derivative of y cubed, that zero form out in front, wedged with dx wedge dy wedge dz. 
Now, since the derivative of y cubed is 3y squared dy, and I have two dy terms in this big wedge product, boom, it's zero, it all vanishes. This is going to hold in general, because the derivative of a three-form field is a four-form. And as we know, four forms in R3, they're always zero. OK, so that is a couple of examples. It can be a little weird at first, but since everything boils down to the implicit differentiation that you've been doing since the early days of calculus, you'll quickly find that you are able to differentiate form fields quickly. Understanding what these derivatives mean, understanding the geometry behind it, that is going to take more work.